bangkit berdiri Bapak Ibu yang dikasih Tuhan. Kita akan siapkan hati kita dengan sukacita karena hari ini adalah hari yang penuh sukacita. Mari kita nyanyikan pujian kesukaan pada dunia. Kesukaan pada dunia Tuhan sudah datang Beri hatimu kepadanya Nyanyi sekalian orang Nyanyi sekalian orang Nyanyi, nyanyi sekalian orang Kesukaan pada dunia Isa Raja jadi Selian alam dan makhluknya Anak itu puji Anak itu puji Anak-anak itu puji Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive our King. Let every heart prepare in room. And heaven nature sing. And heaven nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world. Savior reigns. Let all the songs employ. What fields and flood, rock fields and plain. Repeat the song in joy. Repeat the song in joy. Repeat, repeat the song in joy. Beri kemulan tu Tuhan Yesus. Haleluya. Karena kita bersyukur, kita punya Tuhan yang sangat baik. Karena hari ini kita bisa merayakan Natal di tahun 2022. Semua karena kebaikan Tuhan. Amin. Kita akan nyanyikan pujian di dalam palungan. Di dalam palungan. Di dalam alungan tiada yang lain Terbaringlah Yesus berbaluskan kain Bintang di langit mengkilat terang Dan Yesus tertidur lelap dan terang Sekarang hatiku tentram Engkaulah temanku di malam kelam Away in the manger, no grief for a babe The little Lord Jesus lay down in sweet hay The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing the baby away. But little Lord Jesus no crying he made. I love Tuhan Yesus, Bapak yang dikasih Tuhan silakan duduk dulu ya. Kasihan angka-angka yang tak kuat berdiri, nyanyi sambil duduk saja. Ada amin? Haleluya. Kalau Tuhan mencintai kita, kita juga harus mau mencintai Tuhan Yesus. Amin.
Amin. Karena kasihnya yang begitu besar yang Tuhan berikan kepada kita. Dan hari ini kita akan menyanyikan pujian Jesus love me. Amin. Jesus love us. Haleluya. Haleluya. Jesus love me. This I know. Jesus, haleluya Karena begitu besar kasih Allah akan dunia ini Amin Tuhan mengasihi kita Kita juga terus mau mengasihi Tuhan Dari ini kita akan nyanyikan pujian ini Kumbawa Kumbaya 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 Kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya, oh Lord, kumbaya, someone singing, Lord, kumbaya, kumbaya, someone singing. Saya percaya di hari ini ada sukacita, amin. Dan kita akan nyanyikan pujian ini, kita akan enjoy yourself, kita mau trust God, kita mau terus kita not need to worry karena kita ada Tuhan Yesus berserta kita, amin. Kita enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Enjoy yourself. 
Percaya semuanya di hari ini ada sukacita, amin. Ya, saya percaya kita you know need to worry, kita just pray, kita percaya bahwa kita punya Tuhan yang luar biasa. Hari ini saya akan mengajak Bapak Ibu untuk bangkit berdiri dan kita akan nyanyikan pujian Dengarlah Malaikat Puji. Mari kita bangkit berdiri, kita akan nyanyikan pujian Dengarlah Malaikat Puji. Dengarlah Glory for Jesus. Haleluya, haleluya. 
Dan kita akan nyanyikan uh, satu pujian lagi. Kita akan nyanyikan Hai siarkan di gunung-gunung. Hai siarkan di Glory to glory for Jesus, Bapak yang dikasih Tuhan silakan duduk dulu ya, ambil napas dulu. Ya saya silakan Pak MC, kami bersilakan. Halo, halo. A very, very Good afternoon to all of you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, it is really a joy. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, you know, our praise and worship team for you know, leading us to this uh, celebration. Today, we want to celebrate uh, Christmas. You know, why? Why do you, why do you want to celebrate Christmas? Because Christmas is very, very important. You see, when Adam and Eve sinned, we also inherited sin from them. And we become sin that we are condemned actually. But God created us. He loved us so much. He cannot see us condemned. He had to send His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, down to earth to take our place. And Jesus was born uh, on Christmas. So this is, what, this is why because of the love of Christ, love of God, that's why we are here to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and to reconcile to one another, to forgive and reconcile to one another. So welcome, welcome every one of you here. So without much ado, uh, you see, 
our beloved pastor, you know, he, he, uh, Paranaka ministry is actually very important to, to him to, in his heart. Huh? And he cannot, you know, let us celebrate without him, you know, sharing with us uh, his, uh, what do you call, a very short, brief message opening. Okay, let us welcome our pastor, Pastor Jonathan. Thank you. Terima kasih. <laughs> sama sama. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, today uh, I think before we go on, we ask uh, our staff, uh, Dr. Gilbert Kong, to open us with prayer first. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sungguh gembira. Hari ini sebab Allah Bapa sudah memberikan kami anak tunggalnya Tuhan Yesus. Mari kita berdoa. Bapa di syurga kami bersyukur berterima kasih atas kasihmu yang besar kepada kami. Terima kasih atas rahmat dan kasih karunia yang telah engkau curahkan kepada kami. Penuhilah tempat ini dengan kehadiranmu dan biarkan sukacita dan kedamaian anda memenuhi hati kami. Katilah masa ini ketika kami meraihkan kesetiaan dan kebaikanmu terhadap kami, anak-anakmu. Dalam nama Yesus Kristus kami berdoa. Father in heaven, we thank you for your great love for us. Thank you for your mercy and grace that you have poured out upon us. Fill this place with your presence and let your joy and your peace fill our hearts. Bless this time as we celebrate your faithfulness and goodness through the giving of your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. Bless this time with us, in Jesus' most wonderful name. Amen, amen. amen. Selamat Hari Natal. Uh, today, besides celebrating uh, Christmas, today we want to recognize the work of uh, Pastor Jimmy Wong. He has been serving in the Pranakan ministry for 20 over years, right? 30 years, I'm sorry. 30 tahun. Okay, 30 years. And today we want to recognize his, his retirement. All right. And uh, all right, on behalf of the church leaders, we have a little gift for him and then after that I'm going to invite the key leaders of our church to come forward and have a short prayer for him okay okay so uh, could I ask him to come forward uh, do we have wait wait hold on uh, do we have photographer ah okay thank you I invite the church leaders to come and then uh, if you like to, you can stretch your hands towards him even as we pray for him. Okay? All right. Kita berdoa. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for who you are and what you are doing, Lord, in the lives of our church and in the life of Pastor Jimmy Wong. Father God, we thank you for his faithfulness all these years, 30 years of uh, laboring uh, for you, Lord, in your kingdom, Lord. We thank you for his heart, for the love of the Pranaka ministry. And Lord, we thank you that you continue to bless him, Lord, even as he retires, Lord. We just ask that, Lord, you will bless him, that you will bless him with good health, that he can continue to praise you and continue to walk with you daily, Lord. That, Lord, you will continue to bless him richly and in his own time, Lord, he can continue to uh, reach out to people in need. 
So Father God, we praise you and thank you for Pastor Jimmy Wong's, uh, Pastor Jimmy and uh, his ministry in our church. Not only in our church, but also the other three churches that he's taking care, he took care of, that is Bakker Road and Paineba and Kamon Kapo. We thank you for his services. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. Let me pray. Let, let me say another prayer. Dear God, we, we, we truly give you thanks, Lord, that you have sent Jimmy to be with us, to be among us, Lord, in, in this church and in this congregation and in the several churches that he also served, Lord. Lord, we pray that for all this time that he has done so well for us, Lord, we pray that he will continue to be strong and healthy, live a fruitful life, Lord, that in the days to come, wherever he has been invited to, to serve, to speak, to participate, Lord. Lord, you will grant him your Holy Spirit and that you will be with him always, Lord, so that forever he will be with you and enjoy your presence and have the joy of the Lord with him always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, one more. <laughs> <clears throat> Father Lord, thank you for the life of uh, Pastor Jimmy. Lord, he has... Uh, in a way, given much of his time in faithful service for your work, Lord. So, Lord, and I know that, Lord, you have used him powerfully to touch many lives. So, Lord, may you continue to use him, even as he retires, you know, as he seeks after you to, to know what uh, and how he can be used by you, you know, even after his retirement. So, Lord, I ask that you continue to, to guide and watch uh, every step of his way, that, Lord, you just strengthen him, you just grant him wisdom, you just grant him favour, Lord, as he minister. Uh, in the ministry, uh, even after his retirement. So, Lord, bless Pastor Jimmy with good health. Strengthen him in all that he does. Watch over him. That, Lord, he knows that, that Lord, you are always with him in all that he does. May your name be glorified and honoured through Pastor Jimmy's life, Lord, even as he continues his ministry uh, after his retirement. Bless him, O Lord, and his family. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you for the life of Jimmy, that he has served so much for you in the three congregations and even here. Father, we know that uh, you have something special prepared for him. There is no retirement, but retirement. And so there are new things for him to do. Father, grant him new insights, grant him new path, grant him strength to be able to be committed. So Father, I just pray for good health and family members to come around him. And whenever he is uh, around, Father, we know that he can always come back to sing. To, to visit us. We thank you for the life of Jimmy and pray that you will continue to use him mightily in the future. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we come in your presence, Lord. We give thanks to you, Father. We glorify your name. Lord, you have called us, Lord, to your ministry. And I thank you, Lord, this day that you have blessed our pastor Jimmy, Father, for the ministry to the Branakan, to the Branakan. Lord, we just ask, Father, as you continue to lead him and guide him with your Holy Spirit, Lord, be with him. Let your presence be with him and sustain him all the days of his life. Thank you, Lord, for the years of his serving the Branakan ministry from Kun Singh Road right down to Pasiris. Yes. Oh, Lord, we give thanks to you for his faithful service. And again, Lord, as you continue, Lord, with his service, Lord, we know, Father, that you will bless him abundantly that he will continue lord to reach out and touch lives and also father to bring your news good news to every person that is in need mm. lord we pray that you will move him forward to mini to another ministry lord that you have called him to mm. so father i pray father that you will sustain him and you will bless him and his family with the power of your holy spirit for we ask all this in jesus mighty name amen, amen. Spirit of Fall afresh upon Pastor Jimmy and Lord, even as he moves to a new stage in his life, you keep him in your love, you keep him in your care. You will be his provider. And God, we pray that every step of the way that he will always remember that he is your son and because he is your son, you love him and you will Show him every step of the way. So, Lord, we thank you for the 30 years that he has served you in the Methodist Church. And, Lord God, you keep him and his family 
focus on you and on you alone. And Lord, that every step of the way, Jesus Christ will be glorified. So we submit him to you. We submit to you also the Pranakan ministry in track. And Lord, that every step of the way, that even as it goes into a new season, Lord, that, that not only the Pranakans will be ministered, but those who speak Bahasa Indonesia, Bahasa Malaysia, Lord. Lord, every aspect of growth that you will grant to the church, Lord, may you be exalted and glorified. So thank you, Lord. So unto you be glory and honor. We thank you for his ministry. We thank you for everyone that has come alongside to serve with him. So Lord, unto you be glory and honor. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. For this we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come, let's just thank him. Thank you. Yeah. I hand it over to Danny with the uh, MC. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you very much, uh, Pastor Jimmy. Later on, you have opportunity for, you know, uh, to hear his sharing uh, later again. Um, just a short and later. Uh, right now, we want to continue to not only celebrate, but want to praise the Lord uh, and uh, to really enjoy, you know, th this uh, celebration. And we have uh, Brother Edwin. He's so kind and uh, he loves you so much that he wants to share his best song with you. Let us welcome him, Brother Edwin. Thank you, thank you, Brother Danny. Okay, I think I better stand here. Because too close to y'all, lah. Uh. Okay, uh, I want to wish Merry Christmas. Ucapkan Merry Christmas kamu, kamu semua antara hari ini. Wish everybody Merry Christmas. So nice to see all of you here. Okay, hari ini saya akan nyanyi satu lagu, lagu rohani. Saya harap suara saya cukup kuat, cukup bagus untuk bapa Tuhan kita, Tuhan Yesus dan Roh Kudus kita. Okay, today I'll be singing a Christian song. I hope my voice is good enough today. Uh. Okay, this is a worship and praise song. I hope it's loud enough. Okay, as we praise our Heavenly Father and uh, we celebrate Christmas this month for our Lord Jesus and also for the Holy Spirit. Lagu yang saya akan nyanyi ialah the song that I'm about to sing is Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Silakan, Brother Michael, music please. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning It's time to sing your song again Whatever may pass And whatever lies before me Let me be singing when the evening comes Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. You're rich in love. And you're slow to anger Your name is great 
and your heart is kind for all your goodness i will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i'll worship your holy name and on that day when my strength is failing the end draws near and my time has come still my soul will sing your praise unending ten thousand years and then forever more forever more bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i worship your holy name bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i worship your holy name lord i worship your holy name lord i worship your holy name. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you like the song. <laughs> you like enough, uh, boss, yeah. Only one? I thought we have more, huh? Yeah. All our souls are really blessed, you know. And uh, it is really great that, uh, I mean, Brother Edwin, he has been anointed by God, huh? gift of singing, and he likes to bless us with this singing. That is great. And uh, by the way, uh, he and the wife, Serene, just, just become a member of PMC. So they are our members, our people. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. Right now we have uh, Shona and the team. Okay. Let us welcome them. Semua. Sekarang kita nyanyi dua lagu. Okay. Lagu pertama ialah hidup ini adalah kesempatan. Untuk melayani Tuhan 
Jangan sia-siakan waktu yang Tuhan beri Cinta ini harus dari bekal Oh Santi Oh Santi
semanganku Tekani hidupku Tekani anakmu Tekan penyuduh hidupku Harangan ini Tuhan Persembah aku Sembilan hidupku Jiwa dan adaku Sebab kerat ku ini Harapkan Yang cukup berhati Tepuk bersembahkan Hanya ini Tuhan Bersambung matuku Kebersihan Tuhan Bersembahanku Berangkat hidupku Sebarang namamu Sekembudu inimu Berangkat hidupku Sebarang namamu Sekembudu hidupku Terima kasih Thank you, uh, Fiona and Mike. Uh, terima kasih, Sisye. Uh, right now, we will also have our Indonesian group to share with us. Let us welcome them. Blessing Christmas. Selamat Hari Natal dan Masyarakat Tahun Baru. Hari ini kita akan dari uh, Indonesia Peranakan. Mungkin yang mau join nyanyi boleh naik ke atas karena ini adalah item uh, Peranakan Indonesia. Uh, yang pertama akan nyanyikan uh, pujian nomor 44, Mari Orang Saleh. Dan yang kedua, Koda Blessing. Tidak ada piano, jadi ada musik ini tidak belajar ya, tapi saya percaya Tuhan Nebesta kita. Mom. 
akan nyanyi satu pujian lagi. Bila laut kehidupan berselombang, bila tawar hati kuasamu hilang, berkat kamu satu-satu hitungkan. Tengok bagaimana Tuhan berkatkan, berkat kamu sekalian hitungkan satu-satu sehari harian. Tuhan berkatkan Adakah berat hatimu dan kacau Adakah berat hatimu di atasku Itu berkatmu dan hatimu yang berat Nanti berkatkan Dihitungkan Satu-satu sehari harian Surga Tuhan mau menteri Bila kamu masuk negeri yang suci Berkat kamu sekarang hitungkan Satu-satu sehari harian Berkat kamu sekarang hitungkan Tengok bagaimana Tuhan berkatkan dalam susah dan pencobaan yang keras Ingat Allah yang berkuasa beri lepas Dan malaikat pun tentu mau jaga Sepanjang umurmu di dalam dunia Berkat kamu sekalian hitungkan Satu-satu sehari harian Berkat kamu sekali hitungkan Tengok bagaimana Tuhan berkatkan Terima kasih Tuhan berkati karena tidak latihan ya Jadi ada sikit puji Tuhan Oke, okay. uh, thank you very much Oke, okay, right now uh, Like just how I told you that uh, uh, Pastor Jimmy will be, you know, sharing with us uh, his journey, uh, maybe a bit of testimony about his journey and uh, how he continued to serve the Lord for over 30 years. That's marvelous. Really praise the Lord. You want to share a bit? First and foremost, I would like to thank the leadership of the church and Pastor John for their continued support, prayer, and encouragement that I'm able to continue with this journey. It is not easy to manage four churches running around just as Wesley rode on his horseback, I rode on my car from one church to another church. And it says that I fought the good fight. I have not finished the race and I have kept the faith. Amen to that. <clears throat> it was in 1992 when the conference first appointed me as coordinator to the Pranakan Ministry and I was asked to be with Pentecost when they were at Kun Seng Road, Pranakan Ministry. Yeah? And that was because 
stay chi kiem wrote in at the time he says they needed somebody to help because of our two leaders who were retiring also at the time the boss our late brother we you hope and johnny chu so they says we needed someone to help and then i was asked to go there to kunsing road and from kunsing road i have journeyed together with pmc all this time from kunsing road we adjourned to mount sophia for which we surgeon there for i think 2 years before this building was built and ready and ever since then from from sophia mount sophia we moved to series and it is through this ministry that god has always challenged me he says the indonesian ministry is a very important ministry not only to our pranakans because our pranakans are here but the older generation have already some of them or many of them have returned to the lord and this new breed of indonesians uh friends all right who have come here to join us in our ministry and i'm proud to say that through the hard work and consistent guiding and mentoring of all the girls that have come through through the indonesian ministry we have three all right three very beautiful girls all right who have come here work as domestic helper and then one day they have decided to say that i want to give up my job i want to follow jesus remember all right do not tell everybody lah all right they were muslims they were of the muslim faith but they gave up their faith to say that i believe in jesus christ and then they say that i want to go and study in a theological college and there we have ruth jumira all right we have yosefin niganti we have kalima three of them all right three of them took the step of faith and they have graduated and have become missionaries remember that they came here to work to support their family but they gave up everything because of the faith that they have found and the blessings that they have received from pmc ruth is serving in malang she is teaching the kindergartens all right telling them stories about jesus likewise we have josephine who is in papua the indonesian uh part of uh papua she also has started a nursery teaching little children and encouraging all the people around and of course we have kalima who is in bogor all right she also has started her own ministry we thank god for this people and likewise also every week you see esther we want to thank god for her ministry in worship leading in prayer and in all the things that she does for each and every one of us we pray that she will also take the leap of faith and that says one day here am i lord send me i will pray that she will continue to be a blessing to each and every one of us and also not forgetting all the members that you see all right singing here and there uh, we have juliana we have molly and we have so many of them it is giving them the empowerment to serve we pray 
that through the very hard work and the leaders of the church encouragement that they will continue to serve. I pray also that God will bless each and every one of them. Do not worry, there will be time for me, all right, to come if God is willing because I have been receiving messages fast and furious. Come and preach. Come here. I need you. I says, let me have some time to rest first before I go out. And as I've said, that I have fought the good fight and I have not finished the race and that I have kept the faith. Thank you, God. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Yeah, uh, thank you, Pastor Jim. Serving God, there is no retirement. In. Why? Because we love Him so much. Okay, right now, um, we would all like to welcome Esther. You want to share with us your testimony? Let us welcome her, Esther. Salam sekali lagi. Terima kasih untuk kesempatan yang diberikan kepada kami. My name is Esther, Esther Jumina. <laughs> saya berasal dari Indonesia. Saya ada kerja, puji Tuhan. Saya tinggal ada di Singapura sudah 20 tahun. Dan saya mau uh, sharing about is my life. Uh, saya puji Tuhan, saya mengenal Tuhan Yesus uh, ada di Singapura mulai tahun 2007 ya di gereja di tempat metodis peranakan Indonesia ini. Dulu saya muslim, saya orang diselamatkan Tuhan, saudaraku. Uh, sebelum saya mengenal Tuhan juga hidup saya penuh dengan kegelapan. Saya sering uh, karena pernah broken heart, broken family, dan akhirnya saya jatuh dalam kegelapan. Sebelum saya mengenal Tuhan juga sering smoking, sering ke disco, pergaulan yang tidak uh, mengenal Tuhan. Tapi setelah Tuhan punya rencana dalam hidup saya untuk datang ke Singapura dan akhirnya saya di Singapura juga menghadapi banyak problem masalah, saya jatuh bangun. Dan akhirnya mendapatkan saya sakit, sudah mau mati. Tapi di saat saya mau mati, saya berjumpa pribadi saya dengan Tuhan Yesus. Karena saya dulu karena belum mengenal Tuhan ya, orang kalau belum mengenal Tuhan itu ada problem masalah stres. Karena belum ada Tuhan ya, jadi uh, kita pergi keluar sana. Jadi hari itu saya menghadapi problem lebih baik saya mati saja. Hari itu saya mau bunuh diri, saya mau mati. Tapi Tuhan menyelamatkan hidup saya. Dan tahun 2007 saya karena sakit, saya tidak bisa berjalan. Dan saya dibawa oleh my employer, ada di uh, berbahasa uh, Inggris namanya Mamit Sasika dan saya dibawa ke peranakan ini berjumpa dengan Bapak Pastor Jimmy juga Angke Joni dan dari itu saya datang dengan tubuh yang sakit yang sekini tidak bisa jalan saudaraku di saat Bapak Pastor Jimmy Wong Angke Joni mendoakan saya di situ saya ada merasakan kuasa dari Tuhan yang dulu saya tidak bisa berjalan saya boleh berjalan dan puji Tuhan dan semakin hari setiap minggu saya dikasih kesempatan untuk selalu datang ke church dan saya ikut Bible study saya lebih mau mengerti who Jesus Christ dulu belum tahu siapa Tuhan ya jadi saya setelah saya uh, angka Jody Chiu memberikan saya Bible saya belajar bahwa Yesus adalah satu-satunya Tuhan dan Juru Selamat Tuhan datang bukan mencari orang benar, mencari orang berdosa supaya mereka bertobat ada keselamatan saudaraku. Dan saya menangis, saya berdoa di situ. Saya minta ampun segala dosa saya, segala kesalahan saya. Saya mau diubah Tuhan, saya mau sungguh-sungguh bertobat, saya mau ikut Tuhan. Dan puji Tuhan, Tuhan luar biasa. Di situ Tuhan betul-betul mengubah is my new life. Apa yang dulu saya lakukan itu saya nggak berani. Dengan dulu saya yang bohong, perkataan kotor keluar. Dan sekarang setelah mengenal Tuhan Yesus, God is chin is my life, saudara. Saya ada roh kudus menegur saya. Ini tak boleh, ini tak boleh. Wah Tuhan itu luar biasa. Dan makin hari saya makin percaya bahwa Yesus adalah juru selamat saya. 
Yesus adalah yang menghidupkan orang mati, menyembuhkan orang sakit, mengampuni orang berdosa. Dan di situ saya makin mencintai Tuhan, mengasihi Tuhan. Saya betul-betul diubah oleh Tuhan. Dan tuh juru-juru delapan, uh, sepuluh Tuhan saya dibaktis di sini, di PMC ini juga. Bapak Pastor Jimmy, uh, Pastor Jonathan Sid. Di situ Roh Kudus menjama saya. Uh, saya rindu, saya mau work for God, saya mau kerja buat Tuhan. Saya mau menyerahkan hidup saya kepada Tuhan, saya mau melayani Tuhan. Dulu saya tak boleh berdoa, dulu saya tak boleh nyanyi, tapi saya percaya karena saya sendiri bukan orang yang sekolah tinggi. Sorry. Suara saya pun tak bagus, namun saya suka menyanyi. ya. Jadi dengan hikmat Tuhan, dengan pimpinan roh kudus, saya baca firman Tuhan, Tuhan memberikan saya muzizat yang luar biasa. Dan saya bersyukur kalau sampai uh, hari ini saya masih ada pelayanan di peranakan di Indonesia ini. Memang no easy saudara kiri from muslim is no easy follow Jesus. Many process is my life. My last time juga my family tak boleh saya Kristen, saya suruh Jin is my religion. But I don't want because I believe Jesus Christ adalah juru selamat saya. Sampai kapanpun saya tidak akan pernah saya mau ikut Tuhan sampai Uh, akhir uh, hayat ya sampai tutup mata saya akan terus menyembah Tuhan dan Tuhan bekerja luar biasa saya hanya berdoa kepada uh, keluarga saya dan akhirnya puji Tuhan orang tua saya uh, apa menerima saya Kristen bala sebaliknya saya punya abang my sister selalu antar saya ke ces Tuhan bekerja luar biasa, something kita ada problem masalah. Tapi kalau kita betul-betul kita ada iman percaya, apapun Tuhan akan buka jalan untuk kita. Dan puji Tuhan tahun 2010 Tuhan punya uh, rencana dalam hidup saya dan Tuhan bawa saya ke Singapura lagi. Dan puji Tuhan saya juga mendapatkan my good employer, saya ada 13 tahun bersama dia. Dan sampai sekarang ini puji Tuhan juga family yang sangat takut Tuhan. Dan tahun 2010 saya datang lagi ke kasus ini. Pastor Jimmy, Esther, you continue lagi pelayani Tuhan. Karena Tuhan memanggil saya, saya siap Pak. Saya percaya walaupun kita banyak uh, proses-proses Tuhan, kalau kita sungguh-sungguh kita mau mengasihi Tuhan, kita mau melayani Tuhan, ada, ada sukacita. Karena semua kemuliaan nama Tuhan. Dan saya bersama Pastor Jimmy sudah 15 tahun, ya Pastor, dan saya bertumbuh, saya berbuah ada di gereja metodis tempat ini. Dan saya juga hari ini saya banyak mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Pak Pastor Jimmy Wong. Sebenarnya saya pribadi saya memang sangat farisa ya. Karena Pak Pastor Jimmy sudah tidak ada bersama kami mulai bulan depan. Namun saya percaya bahwa suatu saat akan berjumpa lagi. Pastor Jimmy juga akan tetap melayani Tuhan. Dan saya juga mengucapkan banyak terima kasih atas Bapak Pastor Jimmy yang sudah membimbing uh, kita semua di Sipis Peranakan Indonesia. Juga membimbing kami, kami lebih bertumbuh, berbuah, selalu menguatkan saya, selalu uh, uh, selalu harus di dalam Tuhan. Setelah saya bilang ingat pesan-pesan Bapak Pastor Jimmy selalu saya pegang dan saya terus walaupun dalam banyak problem apapun saya tetap percaya bahwa Tuhan adalah juru selamat saya. Dan saya sangat bersuka cita, saya sangat bersyukur kalau sampai hari ini uh, saya masih ada di PMC, di peranakan di Indonesia ini. Saya bisa melayani uh, Sunday morning, also, uh, Saturday satu, satu bulan satu kali, usah bersama Madam Jenny. Bahwa semua karena anugerah Tuhan dan hari ini saya mau mengucapkan terima kasih untuk Bapak Pastor Jimmy Wong yang sudah melayani kita semua di servis peranakan Indonesia ini juga yang sudah membimbing kami. Dan doa saya kepada Bapak Pastor Jimmy, Tuhan memberikan kesehatan, kekuatan, juga terus memberkati. Dan uh, inilah uh, kesaksian saya, saya mau ucap syukur atas semua kebaikan Tuhan. Dan Tuhan memberkati, blessing Christmas, selamat hari Natal dan masuk tahun baru. Tuhan memberkati, amin. Thank you Esther for your love and faithfulness. Right now, I would like to invite Susan. Where is Susan? Okay, Susan. Thank you. Can I use this? <laughs> I'm 
dear families in Christ, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Susan, and I'm the daughter of the late Jenny Song. I'm here to share my testimony of how good Papa God has been to me and my family. Uh, I got to know Jesus when I was 13 years old. I was part of the Girls' Brigade, a Christian uniform group. Uh, this is part of the school ECA, it being a mission school. As I come from a mission school, church was like a second home to me. I literally stayed in church after school every day to do my schoolwork, attend Bible study, and join friends in games. The pastor became our guardian as well. And ironically, he is now staying three levels above me in the same block. When I completed my GCEO and A-levels, I decided to join the Singapore Navy. I was busy with courses and training, which sometimes spill over to the weekend. I hardly had time for anything else. With all the busyness and diversions, I slowly disappeared from the church and my GB family. Long story short, my dad suffered a heart attack when I was in my early 20s. That was the fifth, fateful night when I returned from my training. He assured me that he was okay and that he will see the doctor in the morning. But he was not okay because he had a second attack. He was rushed to the hospital and while I was in a car, I bargained with God that if God made my dad well again, I promised to go back to church where I had left off. But it was not to be, and my dad passed on in the morning. But it was not, but it was what the doctor said that became the longest journey of my life. The doctor said, you should have sent him earlier. He could have been saved. And because of what the doctor said, I became guilt-stricken for many years. I was not able to move on in life. I was fearful of many things and was really bothered by the guilt feeling. By the guilt feeling. I had to see a psychiatrist and was on medication for as long as I can remember. Mom knew of my fears, and I was crippled in my own home because of my dad's altar and picture that we had to keep for a year. Fear gripped me, and fear crippled me for the longest time ever. Moving fast forward, we had to move home as I could not function. All this said, I was still not back to church as I was very angry with God for taking away my dad. This anger separated us even further. In total, I was separated from God for three decades, but I believe God did not stop loving me or protecting me from harm. It was my anger and stubbornness that prevented me from having a relationship with him. But God had other plans, one that changed my life and my mom's life. In the dentist clinic one morning in year 2013, when mom was having her dental treatment, I had this gentle nudge to go and make a phone call. But it was kind of weird as I have not called this friend for a long time and I was not sure if it was a working line. But somehow I did call. She took a long time to answer the phone, but I was glad I did not hang up. Long story short, that one phone call got me connected to many of my GB friends. In the end, we had close to almost 100 ex-GB girls. When I did not go to church, the church came to me. The first worship song I heard was, So Would You Come? It was like an invitation from God to go to church. If you have an opportunity, please go and listen to the lyrics of this song. I accepted God's invite and I went to church. God did not stop there. He knew I just got back from church. He knew I just got back to church. And so in no way I was able to convince my mom, who has been an idol worshipper almost all her life, to accept Jesus and to attend church. Mom, being illiterate, will not be able to understand. She only converses in Pranakan language. I almost fell off my chair when mom told me she wants to attend church. I asked her why the change of heart. Then she told me that Jesus appeared in her dream. 
I remembered her telling me that she was flying with Jesus, that she was holding on to his feet and she was flying with him. She wasn't afraid. She was at peace and at ease. I asked her how she knows, how she knows he was Jesus. She said he had long flowing hair and he was clad in a white with a little bit of purple flowing gown. I then asked her if she could see his face. She said no, as there was this bright light. I was convinced she met Jesus. God is really good to the both of us. He made sure mom attends church on a weekly basis and not fortnightly or even monthly as most churches do not have this special product and ministry. Most importantly, mom understands the sermon and it is conducted in a language close to her heart. God even made, me, God even made it convenient for me. My church is just a three minutes drive from Pentecost. Isn't God good? Amen. Baptism wasn't on my mind yet. It was mom who suggested that we get baptized together. So we got baptized in November 2014. Many wonderful things had happened within the family too. Believe in Jesus and you and your family will be saved. That's what happened to my family. Even the most difficult family who worships idols have also been saved. Praise God. My brother's family who are staunch Taoists have also renounced their idolatry beliefs and have followed Jesus. In fact, all of them are already baptized, except for my brother who is still a pre-believer. But I know in God's time, he will, whisper, he will whisper to my brother, just like he did to all of us. And my Auntie Molly too, she's now a believer and she has also been baptized. So moving forward to 2021 on March 31st, during one of my mom's geriatric visit, the doctor discovered a growth in her colon. Uh, after investigation, it was confirmed that the growth is a tumour in the making. The doctor asked me what are my plans, to treat it or to just leave it, considering the fact that my mom was already 90 years old at that time. The doctor told me matter-of-factly that the treatment will kill her instead of the disease. The treatment will be harsh and she will lose her quality of life. I asked him for his professional opinion and he advised me against the treatment. He said that I should continue life with mom as per normal and we did. We enjoyed life to the fullest, eating her favourite food. We went on a cruise, we celebrated her 90th birthday with a big bang. So much so that I totally forgot that mom had a medical condition. So God was really good to, to us and he gave us a lot of peace. God knows that I cannot be worried, otherwise life will come to a standstill. So he did not allow that to happen. For three years, I had peace and was spending a lot of time with mom doing things together. I did not tell mom or anyone else of a condition except those who needed to know. Such news would deflate anyone and I was advised against it. Ignorance is bliss. On March 31st, 2021, mom threw up a few times after dinner. It wasn't normal and I was at a loss. After much consideration and where self-medication did not help, we decided to send her to Changi Hospital. After further tests and investigation, the doctor put me to one corner and told me the devastating news that the tumour is growing rapidly. I asked him what tumour as I had forgotten about it. Then he reminded me of his finding three years before. He told me that mom had less than four months and that I should stay prepared for the worst. I cried endlessly, feeling lost, and my mind was all clouded. I just cannot believe that I may lose her any time. In total, mom stayed in the hospital for two months. One month in Changi Hospital, and the other month in St. Andrews Community Hospital. Mom was an easy patient. She did not demand for things. She just followed the, office, the hospital protocol. It was easy to love her. She was sweet, she was cheeky, and the nurses loved her to bits. When her stay at St. Andrews was up, the doctor in attendance asked me what was my plan for mum, to send her to a nursing home or to send her home for palliative care. I did not need to think. It was definitely home because I know that's where she wants to be. She'll be surrounded by family and friends and no need for any restrictions. But I did consider that it would be tough on me because I would expect mom to pass on at home. Death is something I'm not good at handling, and the fear of her passing at home grips me. 
but I cannot imagine being away from her. So I gritted my teeth and I made that decision to send her home. Mom came home in May 2021. Initially, she was okay. She was still able to eat semi-solid, still able to move a little at a time with the aid of a walking frame. There was always someone beside her unless she was sleeping. Mom, although unwell, was full of life and cheeky and ticks, still able to tease and joke with family and friends. Such behaviour and temperament makes caring for her easy. She has no demands and was very cooperative. The hospice team visited mom twice a month as the condition was, was stable. And because mom too had a good and caring caregiver in faith who took great care of mom's needs, mom was not in any excruciating pain or discomfort or distress. She was lucid, able to joke, got cravings, and she can put a name to her face. Her fentanyl morphine patch did not increase over time. In fact, it was the same dosage from the first day till her end of days. Even the doctor was astonished that mom did not show any signs of needing more morphine. That small patch was able to sustain her for 14 and a half months. Only after six months, mom was not able to take semi-solid and was put on a liquid diet. Slowly, she became weaker. Both mom and I never failed to declare our love for one another. And I'm glad I did it many times to remind her that I love her very much. And she responded with love too. God protected mom and all three of us got COVID at the same time. As mom was unvaccinated, it makes me very worried. But God protected her and surrounded his angels over her. The doctor gave me four months but God gave me 15 months to spend time with her. I blame God for taking away my dad suddenly and not giving me ample time to grasp what was going on. But with mom, God gave me 15 months to prepare myself to spend time caring for her, loving her, talking to her, and teasing her endlessly and having precious memories to cherish and keep. When it was time for God to take her home, Mom did not struggle nor grimace in pain. He did not let me see her struggle nor scream in pain. Nor did he allow me to see her leave as I would be uncontrollable. Mom left in peace on August 11 this year. Strangely enough, I was able to tell Mom that I will see her again someday in heaven. I was at peace with myself too because I know where Mom was going. It was not a goodbye. I was not afraid of seeing mom lying in the coffin. I did not want her wake to be morbid, but one that celebrates her life on earth. I miss her very much till this day, but I know our Papa God loves her even more and that her life on earth here is done. One thing I learned from mom during these 15 months is her love for her Heavenly Father, to be thankful even in the smallest of things and not to complain. Last but not least, God gave me faith who has been a blessing to the family. She cares for each one of us like she would her own family. God also sent me a compassionate funeral director who is a Christian. She sees through every detail, otherwise I would have been lost. And of course, God enveloped me with his family without whom I will find it difficult to move on. The difference between my mom and my dad's demise is this. With that sudden demise and guilty consciousness, it was very traumatic for me and it took years to heal. Why? Because I did not have Jesus in my heart then and I did not have his peace. For mom's demise, I knew where she was going and that one day I will see her again. She was at peace and I was at peace too. God enveloped us with his love and assurance. And with God's love, assurance, peace and comfort, I was able to move on quickly in life knowing that mommy is now with her Heavenly Father, looking down below and smiling at us. Thank you all and God bless. Blessed Christmas and have a joyful and peaceful 2023. Thank you, Susan, uh, for that uh, wonderful testimony. Yeah, we know your mom very well, I think, uh, in the fellowship. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm sure she's now in heaven with the Lord and uh, maybe watching us, you know. 
that uh, she remember the fellowship that we have. You see, though, uh, thanks, uh, Susan, for sharing that even though we may leave God, but God never, never leave us nor forsake us. And the love of God, nothing, nothing in this world can take away from the love of God from us. Nothing. And with God, we are more than conquerors. With God, we are more powerful. And we can overcome any adversity so long as you have Jesus in us. Thank you. Praise the Lord. So right now, we are going to have another item about the ladies. Huh? The ladies going to give us some items, some encouragement. Huh? Jenny. Okay, let us welcome them, the ladies. Okay, uh, before we go down, I just uh, would say, uh, just an announcement for this afternoon, right? Uh, we say good afternoon, all brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, Baba, Dan, Nonya, Nonya. Glad you are here with us today as we celebrate Christmas with thanksgiving to Christ the King. This is our first Christmas since COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. God is good. All the time, all the time, God, God is, is good. good. Amen. On behalf of our pastors, executive committee leaders, and members of the Branakan Indonesian Committee, we extend God's 
Shalom to you, your family, and to all generations. The, uh, the, the coming Sunday, next Sunday, is already Christmas Day, right? So our Branakan will have a combined service together with the English service at 8.30. Okay, remember that uh, next Sunday. And also, the, uh, I would say the other, the Branakan ministry, we have our live group. Live group ministry every third Sunday, and that is tomorrow, right? Any of you can come in to join us for this uh, uh, reading, Bible reading, and also sharing testimony and prayer. So you can come in and be with us after the breakfast time at 8, 8.30, and we'll be at the prayer room. So come in and join us. Currently, we have about 15 of us. Hopefully, the, the, the room will be bursting in uh, you know, uh, closeness that we have to sit together, <laughs> right? <laughs> So we welcome any of you. Don't be afraid to tell me that, hey, I don't know Branakan, nah. I can't speak Malay. Lah. Praise the Lord. We do not, we do not only use Branakan language. The Indonesian uh, sisters, they will use the Indonesian Bible, whereas we use our English language Bible, right? And we, we even have our, our sister Marisol. She's a Filipino, and she's in the life group. So thank God for that. If you feel the calling to join us, come and we can minister one to another and we also support one another in prayer. Uh, the last thing I would like to say is that to this makan, okay? Wow, I tell you, it's truly a makan that we want to thank our sisters who have prepared the food. And this is not a catering, uh, we are not catering. It's food from the loving hearts of our sister, to bless each one of you this afternoon. So, enjoy the food, the, so much time and preparation they have put into it from their own kitchen. So, we thank God for them and we thank God that the Lord will continue to bless the hands that prepare the food and so that they will bless us and bless many others with food. So, now can we con con continue? Is it now? Is it now? Yukata Melody. Well, Yukata Melody. Okay. Now we will get Hallelujah. We later want to sing to you. Uh, a song that is Go tell it to the mountain So the child of Christmas Came to be our saviour So let's go Go and go to Go and tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Let's spread the good news Of the birth of Jesus Sing the song, Yes Me Come, Yes Me Go. Yes Me Come, Yes Me Go. Yes Me Come, Yes Me Good to learn. Yes, me. 
Can we all stand? Let us reach each other. Let us reach other. Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. From the northern of my heart. Feliz Navidad. 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 Feliz I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Selamat dari Natal. You want to do that? Can you just hold? No, there's one more song. Wait, wait, one more song. Wait, one more song. After this, sit down. Okay. Kita nyanyi Selamat dari Natal. Yeah, you can go round and you can wish one another. Okay. Selamat. Selamat Natal, Hari Natal, Selamat Hari Natal, Selamat Hari Natal, Selamat Tahun Baru, Selamat Tahun Baru, semua. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and our King. The tidings for Christmas and a Happy New We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Two tidings we bring to you and your King. Two tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay blessed. And God's blessing be with you all. A blessed Christmas to one and all. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, can you be uh, seated? Let us be seated. Yeah. Okay. We want to thank uh, every one of you here for coming uh, to celebrate with us. And uh, right now, we also have something to present to uh, Pastor Jimmy. The ladies have something to present to you. WSCS, yes. wow.
Wow, what a gift from WSCS. Pastor Jimmy, a uh, photo. Uh. Thank you. Yeah. Blessing. Okay, once again, we'd like to uh, thank you. And uh, the last song is uh, Terima Kasih Bapa. Uh, Terima Kasih. We really want to thank God, our Father, Heavenly Father. Bapa, terima kasih. Bapa, terima kasih. Bapa di dalam surga, puji terima kasih. Bapa. Pastor Christopher is here, right? Okay, Pastor Christopher, you do the closing prayer. Uh, before we adjourn for our makan downstairs, uh, uh, downstairs all right? Apa kabar semua? Harap baik. Bye -bye. Saya baru balik dari Malaysia. My hometown. <laughs> I just came back. Uh, just only. Very. But I want to come here because today is a special occasion. Uh. We want to also celebrate, uh, give thanks to the life and service of Reverend Jimmy Wong. He has served the Pranakan ministry for decades, many years. You see, uh, yeah? hey, all white already. Uh. <laughs> Rambut sun, sudah putih, ya. Dia sudah sekarang nak bersara penuh. Uh. Dia memang uh, layak sekarang terima istirahat. Uh. Boleh lega lah. Relax, relax. <laughs> Ada masa juga sekarang banyak boleh dengan sama keluarga. Pergi holiday lah. Holiday ya. Sebelum kamu pergi, saudara Raymond Jimmy Wong pergi, kita mau berdoa untuk dia dan juga untuk makanan yang sudah didermakan oleh, saya pun tak tahu siapa lah begitu bagus. Ha? Murah hati betul orang itu. <laughs> Okay, saya juga uh, nak jemput uh, Pak Majati, dia staff uh, daripada Baker Road Methodist Church, di mana Reverend Jimmy Wong juga pergi ke Baker Road, juga uh, berkobat di sana. Mau datang depan sini, juga berdoa untuk Reverend Jimmy Wong. Huh? Oh, ada ada half also, uh, suami dia juga. Uh, dia, jadi terima dua doa lah. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, mungkin uh, maybe a short greeting. Oh. Aduh, saya tak nyangka. Uh, I didn't expect to be called to the front. I thought I would just sit there at the back quietly. Well, thank you so much, Pastor Chris, for inviting me for this occasion to welcome Pastor Chris to for the to to be the uh, special, uh, what do you call it? special uh, past coordinator. coordinator for the Indonesian and Pranakan ministry. Uh, I've known Pastor Christopher for uh, about a year now, I think. Yeah, so, and uh, I think it's a great joy to welcome him. And also I've known 
pastor Jimmy for decades. <laughs> Even before he became a pastor, I already knew him. So that was a long time ago. And I think we are also blessed in Buckaroo Methodist Church by Pastor Jimmy. Uh, he baptized some of our members. Uh, and Pastor Christopher also recently baptized a little baby in our congregation. So we are blessed by both pastors. Uh, saya juga pernah jumpa uh, saudari Esther. Ya senang sekali kalau saya datang ke sini seperti datang ke, pada keluarga sendiri. Like coming to our, my, our own family. I feel such a warm welcome here. And of course this is not my first time to come here. We've been here a couple of times to present items and also to join some of the events here. And we are always blessed uh, whenever we came here. So thank you so much. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Come, let's pray. Hmm? Ya Bapa, kami yang di syurga, kami berterima kasih kerana rahmat Bapa, kasih Bapa, karunia Bapa selalu berlimpah-limpah kepada kami dan juga kepada keluarga kami. Sekarang hari ini kita yang istimewa ini kami nak berterima kasih kepada anakmu. Reverend Jimmy Wong yang akan bersara penuh. Dia memang sudah membuat pelarian imam yang penuh. Dan juga dia sudah berjuang, berlawan dalam iman sampai habis. Dan sampai sudah menang dalam Kemenangan Yesus Kristus. Sekarang dia, sekarang ini masa ini juga karunia Tuhan bersama dia dan juga sama para keluarga mereka boleh menikmati uh, hidup berkat bapa uh, dan juga menerima uh, peluang-peluang untuk melayani. Lagi dengan cara-cara yang lain Jadi bersama dia Dan juga bersama kami semua Kami juga berterima kasih Kepada makanan dan minuman Yang kami akan terima nanti Juga Meminta bapa Memberkati Para pendema Yang begitu murah hati Memberi kita makanan itu Dengan daripada dapurnya sendiri dengan tanya tangannya sendiri dengan kasih dari, daripada hatinya dia sudah memberkati kita dan menyentuh hati kami kami juga berterima kasih jadi dalam nama Papa dan nama Yesus Kristus dan Roh Kudus kita berdoa amin amin okay uh, thank you for all uh, I don't know whether that's the last word, Jenny. <laughs> Do you want to say anything yes, else? Yes, I want to thank uh, Reverend Christopher Chin. If you have not known him or seen him, he is the new uh, successor for our pastor, Jimmy Wong. Oh. So he's coming in as the track, track uh, Ranakan, Ranakan uh, and Indonesian, and Indonesian coordinator. Yeah, okay, thank you so much, Pastor Chris. We okay. uh, look uh, so forward to as seeing the you. first uh, duty, I must tell you, first January still got service. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, and I think uh, on behalf of the Ranakan Indonesian uh, Ministry, we will want to present to Pastor Jimmy a little present. <laughs> 